Hi. It's good. Hi. Okay. You're looking good today. Yes. What do you have on your shirt? Houses. Houses? Very cool. I like it. I saw a news article today that there is a man from Taiwan who is an artist who just won an award for doing pictures in a children's book. And the competition was, I think it was in Italy, in Europe. And this Taiwanese illustrator, okay, artist, won the award. And guess what he won the award for drawing? Hmm? Houses. Houses. Yeah, he won an award for drawing uh, on a book called, was a book called Home, I think? A children's book called Home, and he drew the houses, the illustrations for that book. If I can find it, I will show you tomorrow, okay? Okay. I'll make myself a note here. Taiwan artist. All right, so I'll see if I can find that for you. Your shirt makes me think about it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you, which always takes, we should time it one of these days. I'm guessing it takes about 20 seconds. I'm not sure. All right. Biography. All right, here it is. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of our star. All right, so we see that we're Hero Mice Action there. We are. There said Hero Mice Action there. Yeah, the action. This is the lab, the laboratory. And Swift Paws, Geronimo, and Lady Wonder Whiskers just came in through a secret passage and have come into this secret laboratory of the person who lives in this house. The You're bad guy will come here the next page. The bad guy will come. Oh, and you always you always let me know what's going to happen. I wanna here's here's the picture of what he looks like, right? Jack Grip Mouse. This is his house. He's an inventor and professor. Okay, so let's see where we are, that's where we are there. Where's the laboratory, right here. Okay, so, and one of the things, I always like looking at the picture first. I Maybe it's because um, Kristen is such an artist, but I, and your mom is an artist and you are an artist. And so it's always fun to see the illustrations as the artwork that the illustrator does for a story. And so I like looking at that and thinking about things like, how did they, like, what did they use to make this picture? Did they use colored pencils or markers, watercolor paint, acrylic paint, oil paint? And I wonder, like, what kinds of tools did the artist use to make this picture? And one of the things that you noticed yesterday, right up here, uh, the diamonds, right? And this one, I think right here, the big one is that star-studded diamond that uh, Duchess Mouscovia had been wearing. And then I noticed, I noticed this thing right here. Do you see this? It's a bad guy. Floating screwdriver. The thief. Oh, so the invisible thief must be holding that floating screwdriver. So he must be in the room. I, I didn't even think about that. And, and look down here, there's all of these designs because someone who's doing inventing is always doodling and drawing their ideas on paper. And they have some computers and books and oh, look what this is. Uh -huh. Their food. They knock their drink over, some half eaten food. Yeah, I think scientists, inventors and scientists and even writers 
you know, anyone who gets so caught up in their work and they're so focused on their work that they're not paying attention to anything else, I think it's very easy for them to knock over their drink or um, have a lot of papers lying around and half eaten food. All right, so let's see where we are. Um, I think we're right here. We made our way down the dark corridor. Corridor is a word, a fancy word for the hallway until we reached a large room filled with electronic equipment. Okay, so that would be computers, gizmos and gadgets, things that like robots, things that are connected to um, elect, they have electric, electric power and they have to plug them in or, or they can, you know, tools that can do a job for you. And he says, great galaxies, it's somebody's secret laboratory. Laboratory is right here. That's, that's it. We, we usually say the short way of saying laboratory is just lab, in the lab. I gasped, huh? like that, gasped. At one end of the room, a giant glass cylinder was clicking and humming away, like click, click, mm, click, click, mm, click, click, mm. Now a cylinder, I'm not sure if I can draw a picture of a cylinder, but I'll try. I'm not a good artist like you, but let's see. A cylinder, you can start out with a rectangle and then you put a circle at the top and a circle at the bottom. That's a horrible looking cylinder. Maybe like that, that might be better. A cylinder would be like a can, like, like, a, like a can of Coca-Cola. That would be a cylinder, or I don't know that I have any cylinders in here. Um, what else could be a cylinder? Anything there you see around you that could be a cylinder? Yes. Yeah. yeah, like what? Like. Well, I found something. All right, you see this pencil box right here? This yeah, pencil that's, box. Yeah, that's right. Yours is a cylinder and mine is a cylinder. So one end will be a circle and the other end will be a circle and then they'll be connected, right? And it'll all be round. That's a cylinder. A pen is a cylinder. Yeah, well, as long, it has to be the same size circle at the top and at the bottom. You see this here? If I cut the top off right here, then that bottom part would be a cylinder. The bottom circle and the top circle have to be the same size to make a cylinder. So. With my pencil box, this circle and this circle are the same size. Okay, so then that makes a cylinder. So let's Hello. Look. So you can see the cylinder right here. Right, this, oops, that's not a good color. How about pink? This right here is a cylinder. So here's the circle at the top. And here's the circle at the bottom. Those would have to be the same size circle to be a cylinder. And it was making noises. It was going click, click, hmm, click, click, hmm, click, click, hmm. Humming is hmm. You can hum a song, right? Like, um, <laughs> All right, so not somebody's laboratory, not somebody's laboratory, partner. It's the invisible fleet. With pause announced. But how do you know? I asked. Use your supervision, Super Stilton. Now remember, when we have a really long word that has super in front of it, 
They can just cover up the super part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this word right here is the word vision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what we can see from our mm -hmm. eyes okay it has to do with our eyes you also use your eyes and what you can see super stills in pointing at the cylinder i squinted now squinted is when you go like this you close your eyes and you make them really small and you're trying to see something really carefully that's squinting i squinted then I rubbed my eyes, but I still didn't see anything. And someone says, now I think this is going to be swift pause. He says, don't you see that screwdriver floating, next page, floating in the air around the machine? Oh, I was wrong. That was not swift pause talking. Guess who was saying that? Lady Wonder Whiskers. Yeah, she says to Geronimo, don't you see that screwdriver floating around in the air around the machine? Whispered Lady Wonder Whiskers. And then she has more to say. Okay, so she keeps talking. She goes, I bet our own. No, I mean, how does she say this? I bet our very own invisible thief is holding it. That's what she's whispering. As we watched, the screwdriver began moving around the plate of diamonds. Here's the plate of diamonds. The star studded gemstone sparkled in the center. My heart hammered. That means it's going like this. Boom, 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 boom. boom. And that happens if we're really nervous and we can just feel our heart bumping, our heart pumping so loud. And then when we're nervous, what do we do? Or what does Geronimo do? He stammers, right? He's like, whoa, but what is he do -do 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 doing? I stammered. Who knows, replied Swift Paws. There's only one way to find out. With a squeak, he, who's he? He is... Do you want to steal that? Well, let's go back. It says, who knows, replied Swift Paws. Oh, it's Swift Paws. Yeah, so it's Swift Paws. He sprang into the center of the room, shouting, Hero Mice in action! Dum -da -da -da! He yelled. Next chapter, the invisibility machine. Uh-huh, it's a machine. The screwdriver fell to the ground. Oh no, not you again, we heard Griff Mouse exclaim. Then his paw steps skittered across the laboratory floor. Super Swiss slices. I think that's the third, maybe the fourth time we've heard that one. The invisible thief was escaping again. Hey, Griff Mouse, stop shouted Lady Wonder Whiskers. Tell us what's going on, right? Like, and, and then I, Geronimo, right, Geronimo, I added, maybe we can help you. The invisible thief's steps stopped suddenly. Help me, he asked. Well, uh, yes, you said you needed to fix something, I reminded him. Do you think that Griff Mouse was expecting that anyone would want to help him after he's been doing bad things like stealing diamonds? No. No, he was probably expecting they were going to try to catch him, right? And give him to the police. So he's kind of scared of them. And what do they do? They say, hey, wait, stop, let us help you. He's like, huh, what? Why do yes. you think? Why do you think yes, Geronimo? they will help me. He will help him. Why do you think that Geronimo wants to help him? Because he is not stealing things. He is just borrowing. Yeah, so they, they, they don't really understand that, but they trust him. Why do they trust him? Because he is a famous mouse. He is famous. And they know him, right? They're friends with him. They know that he's a good person. 
right? That they know he's smart and he's brilliant and he's, he's a good, honest person. They know he would not be stealing unless he really had a good reason and needed help and they want to help him. So they trust him. They think he's in trouble and that, and that they could help him. He can't believe it. The steps came closer. Yes, exactly, Griff Mouse responded. I need to repair, that means to fix, my invention. Okay, that's the machine. The invisibility machine. Let's take a quick look at this word invisibility because we remember that we, if we have a prefix at the beginning, it can change. Visible. Yeah, and it can change the meaning. And, and I-N, just like U-N, I-N means not. And then we can take the vis, 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 well, they've kind of changed the spelling here. This usually would be visible. And then the itty at the end is the suffix. So if we just stop and say, oops, if we just stop and say um, invisible, that's an adjective that can describe something, right? Like the invisible thief. What kind of thief? An invisible one. So just if we only use the words, uh, just have invisible, then. Invisible machine. Right. If right. The machine is invisible. If, if we say invisible machine, then we can't see the machine. But if we call it the invisibility machine, then it's a machine that we can use to make something invisible. Um, one of the things they have to do to change visible, when you want to add I-T-Y to visible, you can see here they added in this I. You see right here, it's a B and then an L. See where my blue, my red dot is? Yes. Well, here is the B and here is the L, but they added an I in the middle of it to make it easier to say the word. Yes, do you have a question? No. Do you remember up here or on the next the page before when I said vision? I think yes. what did um what did what's the guy in the yellow? What's his name? Swift pause. Remember when Swift pause said um, use your vision? Where was that? Oh, right here. Swift pause says use your vision. Okay, right here. And I said vision means what you can see with your eyes. So here we have that same, that same meaning. This visit, it's talking about what you can see with your eyes. And if we put the in in front of it, then it means it's not possible to see it with our eyes because you just can't see it. It's like air. It's not possible to see. So I looked at the strange device. We've been seeing an awful lot of words that kind of have the same meaning as device. Okay, I want to tell you just a couple of them because we've been seeing a lot of these. A device could be a contraption. That's something that we make by ourselves, and it maybe looks like it's not gonna work very well. <laughs> um, it can be a machine. Sometimes we call it a gadget or a gizmo. Um, Device, contraption, machine, maybe an invention. These are all words that we can use to kind of mean the same thing. Did I write machine? Yes. Okay. So I looked at the strange device at the back of the laboratory. So that's what Griff Mouse used to transform or change himself into the invisible thief. And he says, one of the super lenses. So remember, we can just get rid of the super. 
lenses. Well, see this part of my glass? This is a lens. I have two, one lens here and one lens here, right? So you see my, you see my glasses? Yes. Kind of dirty. But when you look through them, I don't know if you can tell when I do it on the computer, but when you look through them, it can change how you see something. It can make it look closer or it can make it look farther away. So that's what a lens is. And his machine has some lenses and one of them is broken. And I need, a, and I need to find a way to fix it quickly, he continued. Swift paws scratched his head. All right, we do that when we're confused. But what do the diamonds have to do with it? He asked. I nodded, right? I mean, I agree. I must admit this super case or this case, this mystery was getting super confusing, right? Or confusing. Confusing means this doesn't make any sense. I just can't figure it out. What, huh? Lens, diamonds, invisibility, machine. What's going on? And Griff Mouse says, I needed a lens, okay? So that's the glass, similar to the one that broke, said Griff Mouse. That's why I needed the purest of diamonds. Purest comes from this word pure, and pure means perfect, okay? Sometimes we use that word when we're talking about dogs. Do you guys have a dog? No. Well, have you ever ha heard of a purebred dog? Yes. You have? A purebred dog, you know how there's different kinds of dogs? Yes. Well, let's say this is gonna be my dog right here. I'm just gonna make a circle for my dog, okay? If, if, this, is a, if this is a poodle, that's one kind of dog. And if the dog's mom, was also a poodle, and if the dog's dad was also a poodle, and if the mom's parents were also poodles, and the dad's parents were also poodles, and the grandparents' parents were also poodles, then we can come down here to this poodle and say he's a purebred, a purebred. That means all of his parents and grandparents and great grandparents, they're all poodles. No mixing up of the different kinds of dogs. So there are actually not very many purebred dogs in the world because so many dogs might have a grandparent who's a different kind of dog or a great grandparent who's a different kind of dog. And, and so then you end up with a mix and you would say the dog is part poodle and it's part cocker spaniel. So you would um, then have a dog that looks a little bit of both. But pure means it's not mixed. It's not mixed with something else. It's just only one thing. And so this diamond would be just no mistakes on it. Just pure, no cracks, no... Um, problems, just like a perfect diamond. So for some reason, he needs a pure diamond to fix his machine. So then he says, I had to borrow them. What's a them? It's a diamond. Yeah, so them here, he's talking about the diamonds. I had to borrow them from the jewelry stores but I promise I'll return them. Because that's what it means to borrow something. It means to give it back, right? Because you borrow from me Magic School Bus books because you're going to give it back. I just need to use the machine one last time. We heard Griff Mouse race back to his machine. Race here is not when two people are running to see who's the fastest with someone going, on your mark, it's set, go! And then they start running to a finish line. This word race just means to run very fast. He's in a hurry. Then we heard lots of clanging and banging. Think about having a lot of pots in the kitchen cupboard going bang, 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 bang. 
because that's what metal does is it clangs and bangs. I want to return to normal, he continued. It's no fun being an invisible rodent. It's very lonely. No one says hi. No one smiles at me. No one wants to go to dinner or play baseball or go to the movies. How come no one wants to do any of that stuff with him? Archie, how come no one wants to go to the movies with him or play baseball with him? He's invisible. Because they can't see him. They don't know he's there. So he says, my friends and I didn't know what to say. Being an invisible rodent sounded awful, right? Awful means really bad. Just at that moment, vroom. How can you say that? Can you say it better than me? Vroom. Okay, that's the sound of a car or some kind the of- The bad guy is coming. The bad, the bad guy, guy is, coming. is coming. Here it comes. Oh my goodness. Do you know we're already on slide 51 and it's the first time we're going to see the bad guys in the whole story so far. Let's go back and take a look at those bad guys. All right, we've got Tony Sludge, Slick Fur, and one, two, and three. All right, so 51, I remember slide we're on. Okay, what is that noise? I asked. Vroom, the sound grew louder and louder. Suddenly, a wall of the laboratory crumbled into a cloud of dust and rubble, and the sewer rats sludge mobile zoom into the laboratory. A second later, the evil Tony Sludge's bodyguards, one, two, and three, quickly came running through the door. Geronimo says, the Sludge Mobile. Oh no. Gulp. Oh my goodness. Do you see this part of the Sludge Mobile? Yes. You think this part is important? No. Well, yes. I think it is. What do you think? Why do you think they need this? To boom the wall. Yeah, it kind of goes around like a like a drill, right? Like to go through that wall and turn. And then all of this rock stuff that's all, all this stuff here, that's what they mean by rubble. Rubble is like if you take a hammer and some rocks and you bang the hammer with the rocks until it breaks up into little rocks, that's called rubble. And it makes a lot of dust go into the air. So all of this stuff here is kind of the dust going up into the air. So it's going to be loud, it's gonna be dusty. And I gotta tell you that if I was in that room right now, I would want to be wearing a mask for sure so that I'm not breathing it in. Okay. Hey, did you notice the um, invisible thief? Yes, and no. Yeah, right here. And there up here is his invisibility contraption, his invisibility machine. Boy, the bad guys are not coming at a very good time here. It was bad timing. <laughs> All right. Oh, whoops. I forgot to explain who the cruel, revolting, and always stinky Tony Sludge is. He's the leader of the truly terrible sewer rats. Okay, so this is what Geronimo is saying. And how does Geronimo um, describe the uh, sewer rats? He says they're cruel. That means they are so mean. We need a word that is worse than mean. We need like more mean times a thousand, just like evil mean. Revolting means it makes us just like, oh, I just can't even see it or stand it. And stinky is like, Ew, right? So, and he's got a little group and his group, his team are called the sewer rats. 
All right, oops, I forgot to come over here to this page. Okay, the next chapter, there he is. Oh, he looks revolting and horrible and cruel and mean. And I don't ever want to meet him or have him in my house ever. How about you? <laughs> no. Look at that ring on his finger. That's quite a big ring. Look at his smile. I don't know, maybe we would see him in like, I don't know, a Disney movie or something. He'd be the bad guy. All right, well, this chapter is called, what? Don't make me laugh. Crumbling cheese crackers, right? Those are the three words that they might say when they're very surprised. What were the sewer rats doing in Griff Mouse's secret laboratory? Now, this is what you see here. You see these quotation marks right yeah. here, here? So I kind of zoom up to see who's talking. Oh, it's going to be Tony Sludge. And he's going to be sneering. And sneering is to say something in a really mean way that's kind of making fun of someone else. Okay, that, it doesn't make us feel good if someone is sneering. <clears throat> says, the invisibility machine will be mine. Ha, 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 ha. Evil laugh, evil laugh. Tony Sludge sneered. And then Muskrat City will be mine, mine, mine. I, I'm not a very good bad guy in the story, but that, why don't you try saying that? You're a better actor than I am. Can you say the invisibility machine will be mine? And then Muskrat City will be and mine. And then Muskrat City will be mine, mine, mine. <laughs> You're much better than I am. Not so fast, sewer slime. Swift Paws challenged him. First, you'll have to get past the hero mice. Dun, 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 dun. Hero mice to the rescue. But now somebody's going to talk. I wonder who it's going to be. We have to turn the page to find out. Do you know who's going to say this? Don't make me. Don't make, well, the title of the chapter is Don't Make Me Laugh. So maybe that's what he's going to say. Don't make me laugh. Tony scoffed. Oh, scoffing is just as bad as sneering. If you're scoffing or you're sneering, you're really saying something in a way that's just not very nice. You're kind of making fun of someone else. We had a couple of those words the other day. Sneer, scoff. I have to look back at our notes from the other day to find them. <clears throat> oh, and speaking of laughter, Say hello to someone who will really get your giggles going, Super Fools. Tony's right-hand mouse, Slick Fur, emerged from the sludge mobile. He wore a gas mask and a strange tank connected to a tube on his back. All right, this is where we're going to, um, oh, right when the pink gas is coming. You can probably see it in this picture, right? Here comes Slick Fur. And you can see here, he's got a gas mask on his face. He's got a tube of something on his, uh, a tank on his back with a tube that comes down to here. And then out of this is coming some pink gas. That's what we're gonna find out about tomorrow. But right now I'm gonna make my star right here. I'll put it right on top of pink. Go long, treasure chip. Hang on there. Hang on there. You're way ahead of me. First, I'm going to stop sharing so I can see you and you can see me. And now I Go get long, treasure so chip. Long. Wait, it's my turn. My turn. So long. Treasure <laughs> chip. Goodbye. All right. Bye, Archie.